You ask for it and we're bringing it to you. We're in Canton, Massachusetts at Trillium Brewing Company. This is their second location in Canton, the original closed. This is one of their four locations. There's also a location in Fenway and Fort Point. At the creme de la creme of breweries, according to a lot of our Gold Circle members, we're at Trillium Brewery. This is their new location in Canada, and it's huge. It's huge. So, lo lovely lady, what are you drinking there? I asked the um, waitress what her recommendation for an IPA was, and she recommended the Trailside, which I went with. So, this is IPA with Citra and Sarta. And you all know I love my handy dandies, so I went with the closest they have to a handy dandy, which is a Pilsner. So here's a quick look at their menu here of their drink options. And Come. they also have food here as well, which is nice for a brewery because they don't all have food. Anything. There's their food menu as well. Live music on the, uh, looks like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. No cover, so if you're looking for something to do on the weekends, that's a cool thing. And then Team Trivia for all your trivia heads out there. Who knows, you might see Team King of Oz take over this place soon. Here's a quick view of the place here. Oh, I got the old school barrels there. Massive bar over there, lots of screens. And there's an upstairs area as well. And during the summertime, they have a beer garden. There's a view of the outside area that Michael was talking about. Lots of picnic tables. Um, and then the grass that goes way out there, you can see people playing with different types of games and ball and horseshoes and bags. Um, and that up there is Blue Hills. That is Blue Hills in Canton, Massachusetts. This place is gorgeous. As you can see, there is snow on the ground. So not so much of the um, outside drinking weather, but outside in the warmer weather is a good time. That over there is a big pizza grill. I'm gonna give the Pilsner about an 8.7. Young lady, how are you liking that IPA so far? Love it. This is great. I think I've had this before. It is a great IPA. It's exactly what I'm looking for. And everyone, I went with my next beer already. I have it already lined up. I went with the DDH Melcher Street right there, double IPA, hopped IPA with mosaic. So I'm gonna let you know what I think. Shortly, it's brisket chili nachos. And look, that's picture worthy right there. They did a nice job with the presentation. If I say so myself, they are spicy, ladies and gentlemen. We'll say that, but I will say they're about 6.2. My assessment of the Melcher Street um, double IPA was fairly good. Once hoppy on the hoppier side, um, it almost reminded me of a juicy IPA, but it had like a little kick to it. I'm gonna give that a 7.2. The young lady has moved on to her next beer. What did you get, young lady? This one is the second recommendation that the waitress gave us. This one is called a Rink IPA. The Rink IPA, which is IPA with Galaxy and Sabro, whatever that means. And then I got a little tiny little sample here of Area Roots, which is a collaboration with Fanta Brewing Company, which is based out of North Carolina. North Carolina. We're going to look them up right now and see what we can find out about Fanta Brewing Company. Stand by, we're gonna let you know what we think. I'm going with the launch beer, so last beer of the day for me will be the launch beer. Young lady, what did you think of the corn based beer, the area roots? I like it, it's good, it's different. Oh, and I'm about to launch this beer into my mouth. Let's see what this is all about. Here is a close-up of that impressive pizza oven. And over here is where they do lots of takeout and merch sales. They sell four packs and growlers here at this spot. And it is very popular. So if there's a beer you have your eye on, you definitely want to come and get it before they sell out. And because they serve food at this location, it's no longer dog friendly. Here's a shot of their beer garden that's open in the summer, springtime, and fall time. For the happy recap of Trillium Brewery. We just finished up, we had a couple of beers, we had those nachos, great atmosphere overall, it's starting to pick up with a couple of holiday parties here, I don't know if we mentioned you can do private parties here, which we have attended, I have attended one before, and it was top notch, great service, great food, and delicious beer. All right, so stay tuned. If there's a brewery you'd like to recommend, please comment below, let us know. And don't forget to click subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Peace. Adios, Trillium. So long. We'll see you later.
Until the next journey, everyone, like the great Steven Tyler says, life's a journey, not a destination. Let us know where you think we should go next. Take care, everyone. Peace.